everybody, Aubrey here. Today I've got a new tutorial for you and it is based off of this hairstyle that you see on Doris Mayday uh, behind me. I actually don't know who the original hairstylist was for that, but I really like the look of it. So I created this um, with that photo as my inspiration. So basically, I love updos and having my hair totally up all the way. And this is a different sort of a take on the traditional victory rolls, which is normally two rolls, one on each side. Um, so for this, there's the two rolls put very close together. You can see how close the rolls are together. And then there's the third roll up at the top. And it's basically just a twist in the back. Uh, you can do whatever you want to with the back, but I prefer having my hair all the way up. Uh, so that's why I did it this way as an updo. So I'm getting ready to start the tutorial process. I hope you like it. And don't forget to visit my site, AubreyLondonPinup.com, for more ideas, inspiration, and features on some cool stuff. I'll see you later. Bye. Starting out, you're going to part your hair on the side. Then what you're going to do is take your rat tail comb and create a section of hair on the side. And you can just leave the rest of your hair separate for now. And you're going to tease it or back comb it on the top on the side like so. You want a, the more back combing you do, the better volume you'll have. And then do the rest of the section like that as well. So now you have this volume in this section. And you can take a little bit of cream And just work that in so it looks nice and smooth. But try not to take any of the back combing out. You can do it a little bit at the top here just to give it a little bit of a smoother appearance. And give it a little bit of a spray. Now you're going to proceed to roll this part up like so grab your bobby pins and pin this first section down you can always go back and add more pins later but you can take care of it all now. And don't forget to come in here and do some pinning this way for the roll so that it stays up. Right. Just like so. And now you can spray it a little bit more. Just like that. And so there we have the first part done. So for the next part, what we're going to do is grab the section on the other side here same type of deal except this side is obviously going to be a little bit bigger than the other side and you can just take your hair and clip it back out of the way so it's easier to manage and so you're going to start with the same back combing or teasing of this side a 
And like I said earlier, the more you back comb it, the better it's going to be for this look because it's going to give you more volume. Just like so. And it looks like a great big mess right now, but don't worry. We're obviously going to smooth it out like the other side. So again, take a little bit of your styling cream. Just work that in and you can smooth out just this top section right here so that it looks a little bit smoother. And that section there. And again, pull it up and start your roll. And this one's going to come up right into there, like so. And you can start pinning that one down. And you want to leave just enough space in between the two so you can see that third one that's going to pop up in there from the back. There you go. And just keep pinning around until you've got it secure. Now you can go ahead Give it a spray and smooth it up. Just like so. So there we have our first two sections done. So now for the third section, you're going to just keep a part, a section of hair up top and just pin that down for now. So then you're left with this hair in the back. And what you could do is back comb that section to give it some volume, just in the middle. Take a little bit of styling cream just like that pin it in place a couple of pins at the top and then some into the side here So grab that top section and back comb it to give it the same volume. Go ahead and spray it down and you're going to grab the ends of the other twist 
and make sure that it's in here with this section and just create a third loop or roll I should say just like so and pin that down there and just pin that until you feel you've gotten it secured and there you go there's our finished look you can see it there there's our finished look and there you have one two three rolls and that's it